Hey everyone, it's Jess from Cold Essie, and today I'm gonna to go over the top 10 questions we get about direct-to-garment printing with the DTG G4. Let's get started. So what is direct-to-garment printing? Direct-to-garment printing is the process of creating designs and artwork that can be placed directly on your t-shirt without using transfers. Now this uses water-based ink and pre-treat. What materials work best with DTG printing? The most suitable fabrics for DTG printing are cotton and natural fibers. So a lot of people ask, what is the maximum print size for the G4? The answer is 16 by 20. Does the G4 come with different size platens? It does, it comes with three different sizes. So it comes with a 10 and a half by 13, a 14 by 18, and a 16 by 20. And these are all vacuum platens, so there's no hooping required. Can the G4 create direct to film transfers? It can. And with your G4 package, it does come with a direct to film kit. That includes a shaker tube, powder, and film. So the next question is, what is the difference between DTF and DTG printing? Now, while they both use water-based inks, the processes are a bit different. With direct-to-film printing, you use a loose powder that's applied to the back of your transfer, then that is applied to your garment using a heat press. Now, with direct-to-garment printing, it's a little bit different. You're gonna print directly on your t-shirt. So this is gonna use pre-treat that acts some, somewhat like a glue that will hold and adhere your ink onto the shirt. So what are the advantages of having a DTG printer with DTF capabilities? So your biggest advantage is that you're gonna be able to print on materials like dark polyesters. Another advantage is that you can print a full sheet of transfers that can be printed to hard to reach areas like left chest logos or sleeve placements. So another common question we get a lot is do you need to use pre-treat when you're using your G4 as a DTF printer? You don't actually. So you'll only use pre-treat when you're using your G4 as a DTG printer. Do I need an extractor unit with my G4 when I'm using it as a DTF printer? So in traditional DTF printing, an extractor unit is used to remove smoke and fume from the dryer. But in this case, since we're using a heat press to cure the powder, an extractor unit isn't necessary. So what kind of heat press is ideal to use with a DTG G4? So for both pre-treatment and curing the powder, you're gonna need a heat press that has hover capabilities. As you can see here, we have a George Knight press that has that hover feature you need, and you can find this on colemanandcompany.com. So I hope I've been able to answer some of your most basic questions about the DTG G4. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact one of our reps at coldessie.com. Thanks for watching.